All right, guys, you see this very different title. This different. one is The Isle of Men, the world's deadliest motorcycle race. Mm -hmm. Now, I can explain. This is not normal for me at all. I'm aware of that. But when I was looking for more videos, I randomly saw that um, a lot of other reactors were doing this video. For plenty of them, this isn't really their thing usually either, so mm. I figured why not. I haven't even looked up the Isle of Man, like I know nothing about this, mm. so let's see. Collins, I'm 28, just, and uh, I race motorbikes for a living. Okay. Cool. The Isle of Man TT race is the oldest race in motorcycle history. It is considered to be the hardest and most daring racing still allowed. In 107 years of racing, there have been 242 deaths. Four deaths mm. occurred this year. Mm. what this is for us newbies, you know? And I like the footage that they get. It's a street race. It's totally it different looks a little tired. to anything. They're racing on public roads, on super bikes with more than 200 brake horsepower, big sticky fat tires on them. That's so cool. That's cool. But it's making me cry. It's, uh, it's the best race on the planet. Wow. And uh, it holds a big, strong place in my heart. Nice. You can tell he really enjoys it. Riders complete six laps throughout the race, with each lap measuring 37.5 miles in length. With over 300 turns, competitors race at breakneck speeds, averaging 130 miles per hour. Whoa. Mm. There's no... I suppose that you could say there's a little bit of fear, but, like, that's... To me, I think I see that as a good thing. It settles you when you're riding. You know, you're riding hard, and you, there's a line you sort of you don't cross. You know, and, mm -hmm. and that fear sort of controls that a little bit. I mean, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong. It doesn't have to. You know, obviously, with the danger side of it, you can be hurt and and worse. Let's be realistic here. You know, it, you know, there's been some severe things that happen. You know, and um, sometimes it doesn't have to be the individual's fault. You know. Still allowed. I mean, over 200. No! Oh no! Oh. Well, I yeah, 2010. I had a big smash uh, at the veranda on the on the mountain road of the TT course. I lost the front end at 150 plus mile an hour. Ended up going over down, you know, over a hillside and uh, cartwheeling down a hill. And uh, yeah. Next thing I knew, I was in hospital with uh, a broken back, a uh, dislocated knee, um, and a bust arm. You know, it's, it's pretty horrendous, but that was that, and this is now. You know, it's all it's all behind me, and um, something mm. uh, I've, I've forgotten about really. And what? you know, it took a lot of getting back from. To be honest, it um, took a lot of strength, mm. physically and mentally, to get through it, and hopefully, and to get back on that bike, right? Wow. Well, I appreciate the resilience mm -hmm. and just the mental strength mm. and gymnastics that mm. it even takes to 
go through that mm -hmm. and say you've forgotten it later mm -hmm. and you're still doing it. Mm -hmm. Still climbing back on that bike. And he knows doing this exact race. Mm -hmm. There are other motorcycle races. Mm -hmm. This is just like the most dangerous one that's still allowed. Mm -hmm. Like, mm. I couldn't even really watch it. Mm. So I can't imagine living it. Mm -mm. Like, the mental toughness. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Looks like he loves that sound. Now, obviously, I'm on the best bike in the grid. I feel all right. <laughs> uh, all I do, I don't get carried away with predictions or anything like that, or any of that old nonsense. It's just whatever I'm feeling on the day. If I feel good, you know, I'll push because my bike's good. The Honda Fireblade is it's a brilliant bit of kit, and uh, you know, I'd love to do myself and the team justice by getting a good result tomorrow. You know, and there'd be no one trying as hard as I am. Needs no build up from me, here we go, the Pokestar Senior TT, the big, big race of the week. One minute less than 55 seconds to go as the top boys are now paddling these uh, magnificent machines towards the start line on Glen Crutchley Road. I don't know how they do it, knowing it could be the end for them. You just can't think the way number 10 True. and it's Connor Cummins, the Ramsey Rocket is And if you don't feel good about it, you can always lay off the gas. The just ease off because it's not worth it. Six laps of the mountain course, 226.38 miles. Wait, are those the graves? They look like grave sites to me. <laughs> Shoot, I hope that's not what you would call foreshadowing. <laughs> right. In this video. Yeah, I, mm. I hope not. Mm. Girl, bye. Yeah. <laughs> and I saw roads mm -hmm. mm -hmm. going past mm -hmm. the memorials, mm -hmm. the graves. Mm -hmm. Do they really? Mm. mess with the writers like that mm. by forcing them to drive past those things oh gosh <laughs> mm. that's mm. savage mm -hmm. now see that could have always been but on the other hand i mean having the memorials near the track and stuff yeah it makes sense but that's wrong mm. <laughs> that no man i hope that's not like you said for following where do they put these and cameras right is on to be able to get this great finish now, right? so we'll just see if connor slots i love how green it is there me too the it's beautiful boys about to greet their charge like there is, there so is connor coming yeah. slowing up connor is in second 14 seconds down Throughout a grueling race, Connor Cummins is in a battle for first place against Michael Dunlop. Despite a neck and neck race, Connor comes in second. Oh. No one's forcing anyone to do this race at all. No one's forcing me to do it. I want to do it. I'm fully aware of what goes on. It's down to me. Everyone else is the same. There's not one man in that paddock who's signed up because they have to, it's because Too close, to. too close, too close. As simple as that. Uh -uh, but at the end uh -uh. of the day, I'd only stop if I, if I stopped enjoying it. If I, if I wasn't enjoying my racing. On the other hand, they know what they're this doing. This place is not the place to be riding a motorbike, you know. All I could yeah, probably say is... Yeah, but those tires is, that one point you know, looked like they were too close. They, they, loved they did. Riding a motorbike <gasps> and enjoying mm. themselves, you know. You know, it's very easy for me to sit here and say that. I, I wouldn't like to be in anyone's position who, who's grieving right now, you know. Um, but hopefully they would take some kind of comfort in the fact that they were enjoying themselves and you know doing doing something they wanted to do. Well, he survived it. Burn that rope.
cover. Pop that champagne! Yes! <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Mm -hmm. it, it stirred up a lot of different emotions, mm -hmm. so... That was cool. It was mm -hmm. a nice change from what we usually watch. Mm -hmm. Usually it's sit there, laugh, and mm -hmm. you know, look at, you know, comedian's tactics and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you know, it never really drums up any amount of fear, you know. It doesn't turn your stomach, you know. It doesn't even drum up that much excitement, mm -hmm. usually. That was fun. I enjoyed it. Hope y'all liked a little something different. Yeah. Not sure whether or not we'd feature more motorcycle race type content on the channel, but hey, if you have any suggestions pertaining to that, let us know and um, I'll take a look and see if we could possibly bring it. Don't forget to like and subscribe while you're down there and we will see y'all in our next one. Bye guys.